Hey there, welcome to my Grimwall Guide on Ascent. I'm going to be doing this kind of video for every map, so please check out my channel and consider subscribing to keep up with other guides to follow. Now, I'm no expert on Grimwalls, I just like watching Grim's videos and don't find a lot of comprehensive guides on his walls, so I figured I'd take a crack at it. If I missed anything or you have some suggestions on how to do some of these walls more consistently, leave a comment sharing your tips. For anyone who's completely new to Grimwalling, I'd suggest checking out my YouTube short on Grimwall fundamentals, as wall extensions and jump crouching are necessary prior knowledge to get use out of these guides. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video, starting with... So for this first wall, you're gonna position yourself so that you're looking straight at that intersection on the wall, and uh, basically you're just gonna do a normal jump crouching wall on the right side of that block. So that way, you can uh, take this really aggressive angle on A main. For the second one, you're going to position yourself in the same exact spot. So once again, use that intersection. But instead of walling on the right side, you're going to wall on the left side. So if you properly extend it, uh, you can go ahead and stand on that top box and use it as a one way. If you are calming with your friends or teammates, then just make sure they don't smoke it off so you can see their legs properly. This next one I just like to use for fun. Uh, just do a diagonal extension wall uh, off of the generator so you can have a really high position to look at A main from. You could try and look at garden too, but I would rather just have someone else cover it while you cover A main. This next wall is really precise. You have to run and right as you're about to hit the corner of that box, wall yourself up. And just once again, a really high position to look at people at A main from. You could also use it to hide yourself when you pretend to jump off your wall. So people will think that you're on site, but really you're still on another angle and people won't really expect it. Again, you can also just wall yourself on heaven and extend your wall through the wall on heaven and shoot people that way. Uh, this last wall is really good for if you have a jet, chamber, omen, raise, anyone that could get on that top platform. And really you as a sage are just going to wall your teammate up by extending your wall through the roof there and it's going to give this insanely high angle from which your teammate can hit people on a main from if you have a jet they could also double up draft anyways i'm pretty sure that's all of the walls i know on defender side a site so we're going to go ahead and move on to So this is really the only wall that I know near tree, and you have to do it pretty quickly or you'll get spotted. But basically you just kind of extend your wall diagonally off of that box and you can peek tiles. This next one's super useful, one of top grim walls in my opinion. You're just going to want to look in that intersection between those two boxes and look at the ledge so that the outline kind of boosts up there. And you're going to be able to watch anyone who's pushing catwalk, and it's super useful. All you do is see their heads and they can barely see yours. This wall is pretty much the same, except it's a little bit easier to do, and you just do it off of pizza. So you just extend your wall normally, and you can look at cat. The only trade-off is that your body's a little bit more exposed, so it's a little bit more risky. But here I'm showing you could just do it both ways of extending the wall, and just watch out anyone pushing tiles. This next wall requires you to jump crouch and tilt your wall to extend it. It's a really aggressive one for you to push tiles, especially because a lot of people like to kind of just hide there in tiles. But even better, you can also use it to actually look through spawn and look at anyone who's either rotating out of or rotating back into B site. And it, it's just an amazing wall. Uh, I'd say the main concern and the main thing I would caution about is to make sure someone's watching cat. Um, so that way you're not getting shot at while you're trying to peek tiles. Uh, but other than that, it's just a really useful wall, really cool, really stylish, and uh, really requires some cool movement in general, so I, I really like this wall. The last one's really simple, you just boost yourself up in spawn, and you can look through mid and catch anybody that's pushing mid. It's pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, that's all the walls I know on defender side mid, so we're gonna move on to... This first wall is a retake wall, so once again you just extend your wall using that wall to jump onto that ledge. That's going to give you access to back sight. You can go ahead and spray through the green box at a safe position and uh, also look at B main. 
The best part is you can actually go to the other side of that ledge, which will give you access to market. You can kind of stalk Cubby a little bit and you can get access to the other side of backside, which is really, really good. It's a really unexpected angle. This next one is an interesting wall. You want to trick your opponents into thinking that you walled off the uh, entrance of B main, that choke, but really you're leaving a gap big enough for you to walk through. So they're going to think, oh, hey, I can get orb or hey, maybe we can break it. And you're just going to be able to push out and punish them. Of course, if they start expecting that, you can just typically boost yourself on that wall and shoot anyone who's trying to expect that and looking somewhere else. You can, of course, also just completely bait them and completely block off the wall and lurk there with like a Judge or a Bucky and just get a couple of cheeky kills. Because, you know, who's stupid enough to lock themselves in? The answer is, of course, you. Uh, this one is one that Grim has been using a lot recently. It completely blocks off entry into uh, B-Site. You're completely walling off the choke point, but you're leaving yourself a gap big enough for you to shoot opponents with. And if they leave because they know there's a wall there, you can actually jump on top of the wall and get an easy flank. This wall, you just extend yourself as per usual, and you get access to uh, peaking B main from a really high angle, as per usual, of these walls. So really useful, really nice. Uh, the next wall here is you're going to extend kind of diagonally uh, the boat, your, uh, your wall from boat, and you have a nice little one way for B main. This next one, you're going to be boosting yourself on this box here. Don't do it too far to the left, otherwise you'll bonk your head and break the wall. But uh, yeah, basically it blocks off lane. And if they try to push lane and break the wall or go to the other side, you can actually jump crouch above the fence there and catch anyone breaking the wall or, or pushing the other side. And you can kind of get a quote unquote flank on them. So that's a really cool wall too. This next one is just extending your wall using that little wall there. And you can walk all the way forward and look into B main. And on top of that, since it's kind of a longer wall, it kind of blocks entry into the site because they have to walk all the way around or have to break through the wall in order to get onto site. So it stalls just a little bit as well. This next one is like a grim wall classic. Uh, really, you want to kind of walk as far as you can off that ledge and I personally place my crosshair so that the top of it is in line with the inner circle edge and so uh, basically it'll let you look into that uh, the spawn into B main and of course the classic you can go ahead and just ride the roof and it's it's amazing it's beautiful um, very stylish very cool the alternative wall is one that I can't really get consistently, but I, once again, stand as far as I can off that edge and I place my crosshair where the uh, that diamond, the lower part of that diamond, but the upper half of kind of that hourglass shape. This is actually a great post plant wall too, because you can look at defender side spawn, you can look through pizza, so you can watch anyone pushing mid. And of course, you could also still use it as a defensive wall because you can look at the main and a little bit of spawn. So this is just a great alternative wall to the other roof surfing one. But that's going to be all the walls on Defender B site. So now we're going to move on to... So this first wall is a Grim Wall Classic. You basically just extend the wall there and it basically gives you full access to B site. You can look back site, you can look on the site, and it's just great to catch anyone that's kind of lurking there. You also have access to market, to cubby, and even kind of where that spawn area where people like to come in when they rotate. Just watch out for anyone on the flank, have someone watching it or make sure you're watching it. And But yeah, it's a really great wall. This next one, you're going to want to make sure that the door is closed on market and you're going to do this kind of diagonal wall and you want to make sure to break that wall so people who are pushing market can't see the wall pushing out through there. But you can watch uh, market through there once they break the door, but you can also kind of parkour yourself onto that ledge and catch anybody coming from uh, A and rotating into B. So this is a really cool wall just to catch people who are rotating. Just watch out for people coming main. This next wall is another grim classic. So you wanna make sure your crosshair is perfectly in line with the fish's gills. I don't think it's too picky, but I like to be pretty precise. And uh, I use these dark kind of lines as an indicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the fifth one, 
and that's where my crosshair is going to be placed. After that, I'm just going to do a typical jump crouching wall. Uh, this one is a little bit more precise than some of the other ones, and you're going to walk all the way forward, and if you look along that ring, you can see anyone who's trying to peek from a tree and looking into uh, grass. But that's going to be all of the walls I know on the attacker side of near B site, so we're going to go ahead and move on to. For these mid walls, uh, there's not too many that I would use consistently, but for this one you can just wall yourself up onto this little arch and catch anyone who is uh, looking mid. And if you stand on that top arch, you can actually, you actually might be able to see uh, anybody who's rotating from spawn. So that's a really cool wall that's really useful. This next one is one that I think is probably the best wall on mid. Uh, so you have to jump crouch and extend your wall and it basically lets you look into mid from this really unexpected angle So it's really really nice wall to use. Another great part about this wall is that you can actually hide behind the wall there And that's gonna give you some great cover while you hit people on mid So this wall is one where if you're pushing B site through mid you can go ahead and wall that off so people can't push market uh, but also that way you can hop above the fence and catch anyone who is going through spawn or rotating from A to B. The last wall I did kind of uh, fail to show and uh, so I'm just going to show me actually using it in a game but it's the same idea where you can boost yourself up just through cat instead of using uh, tile side. Anyways that's all the walls I know on mid so we're just going to go straight into... So this first wall isn't one that I would use super often, but if you suspect people are going to be pushing from a main and try and get a flank off, this is a really troll wall to use to just have this really high angle. And it even does peek a little bit into the site, so anyone who's hiding on that right side um, or anyone who's hiding blind, you can catch them off guard. This next wall is mainly used if someone smokes off the choke point. It raises you up and lets you look into heaven. Of course, this is just a typical wall where you can just additionally wall off from tree and hide in that corner to catch anyone who's going to push through there. Of course, make sure to watch uh, Heaven as well because someone could push from there. This next one is really fun. You have to wall through so that you can hop into the wall while they can't see you. But it's really fun because if they start breaking the wall and you can hear them, you can just hop over and shoot them. This next one, you want to make sure to place your wall such that it hits that higher platform. Um, and I'll highlight what I mean. But really, the reason why you have to do that is because it actually creates this really crazy one way for you to shoot people's legs through that are coming into heaven and trying to break that wall. It's such a crazy one way. This next one requires you to uh, get access to generators, so make sure to push it fast and slow it and everything. But really, you just want to extend your wall into the very corner there and then break all the other segments so they can't see it and it's just one of those really surprising corner walls that people aren't going to expect you to be on of course you can catch anyone pushing through heaven catch anyone pushing through main catch anyone pushing through tree it's just a great wall to surprise people but you have to have the kind of position advantage and timing advantage and that should be all the grim walls i know in a second once again if i missed anything please feel free to leave a comment below and I hope this video was informative and useful. I'd also like to end this video by saying that while Grimwalls are very fun, they aren't going to be game-changing without the proper aim and positioning. So please use Grimwalls responsibly and try not to throw too many competitive games. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Later. Is uh, at the top of my crosshair, the top part of the inner circle. but. Basically, it kind of lets you look into spawn if they're kind of hugging that back wall there, lets you look into B main, even lets you look into mid, and uh, you, of course the best part is you can wall ride it, or uh, ride the roof, and you can go ahead, dude, fucking this, is that really gonna show through the board? Move with the grooves, move like that, and now we move with the grooves, move like that.